Hey y'all, how y'all doing? <laughs> All right. So, we were in here getting ready for things. Show you what we've gotten done while we're uh, waiting. Ooh, Horde Knight. So I've gone ahead and turned the generator on. We've gone ahead, so all of our uh, electrical stuff is up and running. Right now it's just the electrical fences. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of those. Is everything over here done? Yeah, ugh, that's really done. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop this stuff off. Oh, hey, Sharky, how you doing, buddy? Happy weekend. Let's see what we got going on here. We just need to grab... Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of food. Grab a little bit of drink. Now we're actually going to grab that. We're going to grab a couple of these. Right, put that away. Let's put that away. Put that away. Actually. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Because we're not going to need that stuff. We are going to use that. We're going to use that. And I think we can put the, f the, uh, the blocks away, too. Yes, that was actually a very, um, well, for lack of a better term, disturbing story. Mohaha. <laughs> Alright, so... We already seem to have some damage up here. Make sure everything is okay here. Let's go ahead and take that stuff out. Can I? Oh, I forgot the machete's range has been reduced. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up into this area so that we can see the horde coming from whichever side it's gonna come from. So. Now, one of the things that I did, I think I did in... Oh, hello. Let me try that again. Yeah, see, I need to get a uh, ladder or something up here. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Let's go ahead and get this. We just want two of those. If the Samsung 7 wasn't taken back. Wow. Too soon, Sharky. Too soon. <laughs> oh, alright. So, we actually have the ability to defend our base now. We should be high enough that I'm not really worried about uh, the cops. So, one of the things that I'm going to do is after this horde, I'm basically going to start clearing a lot of the buildings that are around us. So all of these like little structures over here, all of this stuff is basically going to go away. Um, but I'm looking and I'm thinking what we may do is there's this area over here that's a nice big area. Um, I may actually do a large build. I'm, I'm wanting to do an actually really big build. Would have been a wasteland and the uh, Rammy phones are working. <laughs> yeah, that that could be bad, Sharky. That could be bad. All right. So since we have power running, we have electric fence, we have the inverted spikes, and we have barbed wire on top of it. So we should be pretty good to go, I think. I hope. Hey Shades, how you doing buddy? Welcome to the stream. Happy weekend. Alright, so we'll leave that open for now. I'm not really that worried about it. However, I do want to head down here for a second. Oh, let's see. Not really all that worried about that right now. 
I do want those. Oh, let's see here. We should have... Let's go ahead and eat that. All right. I figure every little bit of health and stamina is going to do a good... Be a good thing for us, right? And so... I'm going to grab this... <clears throat> this. Hey puppy. Go ahead and throw that in there for now. We're going to grab this. I spent quite a bit of time <laughs> basically making as many arrows as I could. Um, but between the arrows and the bullets kind of ran out of time. Oh, look at you. Alright. So let's go ahead and get the last of this. In. Are you in there? Ah, there we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff out of our inventory. Uh, okay. Now, I need to go finish the upper area a little bit more. Um, I want to have windows basically uh, blocked in. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to do this from opposing sides. That's one, two, three. So I only need three more. That's not too bad. All right. The expensive coffee made from monkey poop? Yeah, I know of it. I've not tried it. I'm not a coffee drinker, unfortunately. Um, for those who don't know, I've actually been off of, like, hardcore caffeine for a year and a half now, I think. Almost two years. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, I know of the, uh, I know of the coffee. I used to make jokes about it because, you know, it's basically, it goes back to where it comes from, so. <laughs> Let's make sure we're zoomed in. We are good. All right. I really should have made some Maltovs. Actually, I have. All right. So what do you need for that? Gas, oil, cloth, and glass jar. I think I actually have. Come on. Open up. Thank you. I might actually have the supplies to make a Maltov or two. So, empty glass. Let's grab a stack of that. Grab that, and we need oil, right? Nice. All right, so we can throw the rest of anything that we have left back in here. Oh, that's right. Hey, Red, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Happy weekend. Cappuccino. Oh. <laughs> that's bad, Sharky. That's really bad. Thank you. <laughs> That makes up for the uh, that horrible, horrible story you sent me earlier. All right. So we just have a couple of Maltovs cooking up there while we are waiting for the horde. Oh, we already we already have a horde inbound. I do not need a screamer. My aim lately has been horrible. Is she getting back up? Nope. Oh, she looks dead. All right. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're basically just waiting now for 2200. We've got pretty much everything that we can get done, done. Uh, for the folks who are just joining us, we have the electricity turned on, so our electrical fence is running. 
we've got our inverted spikes with the barbed wire over top of it. Now I did not get a chance to put barbed wire fencing down. I wanted to actually put that along the perimeter um, with the electric fence because what I wanted to do is have them hang up in that while they were getting electrocuted. So we are going to be doing a bit of a redesign on the space after the horde. So. Yeah, Sharky, that was it was that was pretty bad. Definitely not safe for work stuff, so. Alright. Ah. Come on, I want the horde, I want the horde, come on! Of course now I, I you know I'm saying that. <laughs> That's gonna happen is they're gonna show up and I'm just gonna get like righteously owned. Alright, so let's keep keep our eyes open. Now I'm expecting a couple, at least one, if not two, irradiated zombies this evening. Um, I'm not quite sure what to what we're gonna get this time. I know for the day 21 horde, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty impressive. So, oh, oh, boom, headshot. <laughs> And just because we can. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, the uh, the generator adds a lot to the the zombie heat map. So while that's running, I'm expecting that we're going to get a lot more zombies. All right. Almost time. Now, I think... Do I want them to come in from this way? No, I want them to come in from this way. Because if they come in from this way, we have a lot more time to deal with them. Do zombies target generators? Uh, they won't target the generators specifically, just like they don't target any of the other heat sources. It just adds to the aggro, uh, so th to determine on you know what types of zombies and how many zombies are going to show up. Uh, the only thing that the zombies target outside of players are uh, doors. All right, I thought I heard zombies, but it's the music. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, see how this goes. I'm actually kind of nervous. All right. What I'm thinking I may do is on in future builds, when I'm uh, building stuff like this, I think what I'll do is have each floor, once you get off of each of the floors, there will be no ladder above it. Having music is new. Yes, I, uh, I sometimes do music for the streams. So all of the music that I do use is actually made by an artist known as Technoax. Uh, there is a link for him on the channel. So if you uh, like his music, stop by after the stream and uh, just let him know. <laughs> All right, so we, we have angry sounds. Hey, look at that, we've got zombies. Oopsie. So the, uh, the electric fence is working fairly nicely. <laughs> that fence is actually working out pretty good. It's nice that it actually slows them down enough for you a little bit there, but... There she goes.
Definitely want to uh, keep them as far back as possible. Come here, guys, over here. Let's get you to stop beating on my my defenses there. So so far it's working out pretty good. And the nice thing is, is that we've got them so stacked up, you can just basically fire into the into the crowd, and you're probably going to kill something. Nice. Look at this. It's almost like they're they're trying to take out the fence there, or is it just because they're? I don't know if it's because that's the low spot and that's where they're just all targeting. she goes did they oh I hope they didn't actually destroy that hmm looks like they may have destroyed oh they destroyed the one in the corner over there okay All these dead zombies. Hey, nurse, how you doing? There we go. They've destroyed two of the fence posts. And... Pop goes the miner. Are you out, Sharky? All right, man. Go get some sleep, buddy. Okay, I still hear somebody. There we go. And that looks like that's the end of my sniper. Do I have any repair kits? No.
<laughs> you knew we were going to have to do that at some point, right? There she goes. Okay, so it looks like that's the end of the first wave. So the uh, the defense has held up pretty well for the first wave, at least. Let's get ourselves down here and looting. You are... Wow, they did all crap ton of damage out here. There we go. So, after we get all this taken care of, What I'm going to do is, after this horde's over, we're going to take a look and see exactly how much stuff was destroyed. Oops. Now, I don't know if that was the end of the horde. Because I've seen some weird horde behavior that other people have said that might be because uh, the this, this save is from before the 129 build. So we're basically just getting the initial wave. We're not getting all of the zombies we're supposed to be getting. But that even still, day one tw or day 21, we should see something like four or five waves of zombies. All right, so let's head back downstairs. Up the music by a little bit. There you go. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's go upstairs and get rid of her. How's that? Is that is that better for the music? Let me uh, get back over here so I can see what everyone's saying. Right. Come on, up the ladder, please. Thank you. So there's a crawler. So yeah, I'm thinking that uh, the zombie spawners might be broken. Because I've got it set for, I think, at least 24, if not 32. And I was expecting, you know, a lot more zombies than what we saw, so... I think she's dead, but yeah, she's dead. Oh. Hmm. All right, I think it's time to let's head downstairs. What do you think of the video with Panda? 
Uh, which panda video? There's a lot of them. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Are you really just going to sit here and run in circles? You sure are. Okay. Hey, go. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Happy uh, happy weekend. It's going pretty good, actually. My my base defenses have held up much better than I thought they would. There we go. Here, everybody. I saw somebody running over here. Oh, there you are. See, I knew you were there somewhere. Come here. No beating on my base. It's my base, not your base. Yeah, my house. Right. Oh, hello, nurse. How are you doing? Wow, oh, my aim is horrible tonight. Anybody else? So I apologize if I am slow in responding, just focusing on looting and hopefully not getting killed by zombies. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Dang dogs. Come on, switch over. Thank you. There it goes. All right. Makes it easy. Anybody else come running in? Figure we come over here, you know, clean up the mess. So apparently once you clear out the initial horde, we're just going to get the, uh, the like, the two at a time thing. Which is unfortunate. Get rid of the, all the bodies here. So you always have to be careful when you're live streaming stuff because, you know, everybody who's watching starts to learn where all the bodies are buried. Uh. <laughs> all right. So the base actually held up pretty well. I'm, sur I'm actually surprised by how well this whole thing stayed together. All right, so the weaknesses in the base that we've seen so far. Would be probably the uh, electric fence. Would probably be about the biggest weakness that we've seen. And that's only because of the, the fact that the thing has such low... Oh, look at you. Because each one of those posts have such low hit points. And because of the way that it works... Oh, come on. The Shetty's pretty nice, though. Get rid of that. Oh. We have more zombies coming? I thought I heard somebody. 
Uh, so yeah, the uh, the electric fencing, the the posts, I think, are probably about the lowest health things in our defense. Hi, how you doing? Ooh. She was dead before she hit the ground. <laughs> ah. Ow, 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 ow. Remember how barbed wire is nobody's friend. Hi. Okay, they good? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. You're good at work? That's good. Whoopsie. Excuse me. Anybody else want to come over and say hello? Whoops. Apparently so. Yeah, okay, the machetes are way, way overpowered. <laughs> that is nuts. There we go. I mean, look at this. So, zombie running in. One hit knocks him over. I think that's actually better than the spiked club. I'm gonna have to look at the damage stats on this because that's just a little ridiculous. Oh, you get your new computer. Nice. So hopefully later this month, if we can get the guys at the at the fun pimps to actually push this over to stable, we'll be able to get the community servers up and running. Excuse me, over here. Come here. Here, zom, 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 zom. Settle down. <laughs> oh, look. All right. Let me take this stuff out. Yeah, I know. But I'm trying to get my knife, uh, my knife skills up. And this is actually a good way to do it. Because not only am I using it for defense, I'm also using it to clear. So it's kind of a, a system exploit there a little bit. Alright. I see a crawler. So I'll have to come back with the the axe and ow, the axe and the shovel to come back and clear this stuff out later. Yeah, that's fine. Just trying to clean up some of the mess. Here, buddy, where are you at? There you are. Okay. What's funny is I'm doing all this and watch. There's going to be like this irradiated feral zombie that shows up. <laughs> Just hands me my backside. Right? Alright. Ah, running flesh. Not worried about it. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Workable defenses. They do seem to work fairly well. Now, just because we haven't used them. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> he should put out more light. He really should put out more light. 
<laughs> Sorry about that, Red. I'll get I'll get the bot updated. Oh, all right. I think looking at it, I think that's probably the actual end of the horde there. It's just the last couple of folks running at me. And should be one more showing up here shortly. There it is. Come here, buddy. Even given how short of a range this thing has, that one hit knockdown is kind of broken. Uh, Sharky, as a mod, what you do is you basically, if, when you're looking at somebody in chat, if you click on their name, you'll get a little pop-up that'll have a bunch of different things on it. Alright. Oh, hello. Was kind of anticlimactic. I was expecting that to be more intense. All right, let's head down here, pick up some stuff to do some repairs while we are waiting. Let's see. I think all of our where did we put all of our cement? In there. There it is. All right. So where's our drop box? You are going to be our drop box. Actually, can I use you? Oh, I already know you. Nice and easy. All right, so we said there. Oh. Spank with the leather. Whoa, hello, come on. Hello. Hey, Mr. Spider, how you doing, buddy? Excuse you. You all up in my personal space there, buddy. All right. So let's go ahead and put you out of there, put you there. We're just going to go ahead and start repairing some of this stuff. Now, you would be careful when you're repairing because when you start repairing, the materials that you take, you can under repair or something. So if you move too fast, what ends up happening is, is that you'll basically uh, waste materials. You don't want to waste materials. Excuse you. That's my stuff. All right. Yeah, but see, like I said, the uh, the base actually took a pretty good beating. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot. Oh. You can settle down there, hon. Excuse me, miss. I have a point to make. All right. Hey, go. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Like I said, I do apologize if I am slow to respond. I am uh, a little fixated right now. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to get the have to get the actual tools out to fix that stuff. Hey, buddy. You look like you're having fun. We have to. We can't have that. No zombies having fun here. Wow, you taking a beating. 
Okay, every time I get a shot. <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, see, had to go and ruin my fun, didn't I? Uh, uh, so by the time I get up here, you're dead? That's okay. Wheeze it on your buddy. Are you dead yet? Nope. How about now? Ow. Game is addicting, that is for sure. And okay, so I'm not quite sure how that missed, but sure. Ah, it looks like he's dead. If he wasn't, he is now. Okay. And... Oh. He's moving a little faster than I thought he was. Eh, right about there. Hey, hey, hey. headshot. All right. Oh. Hey, Sharky. Those digging those holes helped, man. If you hadn't done that, we wouldn't have had nearly as much resources as we did for that playthrough. Alright. Couple more, a couple more. Alright. Oh, another in-game hour. Alright, so we still need to go fix finish fixing some of this stuff. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. It would be bad to let that infection go much longer. Hello. Oh. Really? Come here, buddy. Alright. Hey, down we go. Come on. So yeah, there's a couple of things I would change on the base defense next time around. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to throw that in there for now. Definitely the approach to the base. Uh, let's see, we don't, need, we don't really need that anymore, so... Oh, I don't need those. Alright. What are you doing? Y'all making up... You're making some serious noise there. Excuse me. Do you happen to have three forms of ID? If not, I am sorry. You are not welcome to come in. There she was. Specific kilometers of a tunnel, yeah. So he actually, for those who don't know, Sharky is a, a, a sometimes YouTuber as well. Uh, he was actually in a, a multiplay playthrough with myself and Silverblade Dagger. And he dug a tunnel through almost three biomes. So um, I think by mini bike, the, uh, the tunnel took something like 10 real minutes with purple mini bikes. So yeah. <laughs> it was rather crazy. Yeah, Tupcho is is uh, Sharky. Whoa, hello. Excuse me. Oh, that's a horrible time to have an itchy eye. Just call me Leggy. <laughs> Go 
and start cleaning this stuff up. Why do I feel like there should be a zombie here? Never want to leave loot on the table. See, it's just, I feel like there should be another zombie here. I'm guessing it's a tryhard. Oh, that's bad. Right? Is it me, just me or? Does anyone else think that there should be another zombie around here? Now I want to be careful because that will electrocute you as well. <laughs> Let's go over here. Ow. What's funny is the entire purpose of going downstairs was not to pick up tools. It was to pick up the antibiotics that I left downstairs. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Anything else over here? Yeah, I got a little bit. Hmm. So yeah, I think that what we'll do is starting on day nine or day fifteen in game. Once we get through this horde. Yep, it was a try hard. Hey, buddy, come here. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a nice find. I can always use more ammo. Any ammo I don't have to make is good ammo. But yeah, like I was saying, is I think what we're gonna. Whoa, hello. Let's uh, park ourselves over here for a second while we go deal with this low health situation. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drink that just because. All right. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, Silver uh, is bowing out this season simply because of the his work schedule. His his life has changed a little bit. So between the three of us, it's like just getting everybody together is kind of rough. So. Uh, I thought we had another. Oh. Nope. Take the chrysanthemum, though. All right. So we have made it through the Horde night. As disappointing as that was, the day 21 Horde should be a lot better. Hopefully. All right. So... Anything else showing up? No. Now, did I... Did not bring a pickaxe with me. Okay. But at least it was fun. Yeah, real, li real life always takes precedent over YouTube life. <laughs> Unless you're one of those people who are fortunate to be able to do this full time as your job, so... So let's go ahead and turn that light off. Since we are done with the horde. So this thing uses very, very little gas. I am really happy about that. Um, I mean, it's, it's ridiculously fuel efficient for what it's doing. So now we can take some time to clean this stuff up. You're going in here. And I think that's about that. 
I'll throw you in there. So we didn't even have to really use the... Uh... Oh, there it is. Didn't really have to use the weapons. That's not too bad. Oh, no worries. Have a great night, man. Thanks for stopping in tonight. Right. And... Where did, were we putting... Schematics. I had one of these set up... Oh, there it is. Like I say, I have one of these specifically set up for the overload of schematics. Not that it really matters, because we're not doing anything in multiplayer on this, on this playthrough, so... Alright, how are you doing for iron? You are doing... Surprisingly well. Alright. Come on. There you go. That can continue to burn. But, oops, how many can we get out of here? Nice. Come here. And that is 25 minutes worth of burn time, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there really quick. So we get another 240 out of that. Not too bad. We're gonna throw another 25 minutes worth in there. Yeah, 26. Whatever. It works. So we got everything out of there. We got everything out of there. And we have the land claim block. Okay. So let's see here. We want to drink. Mmm, drinks. Go ahead and eat a little bit. Actually, I think I can get away with... Oh, I'm going to have to use this. Because I wasn't hungry, so it wouldn't let me uh, use the honey. I had to. <laughs> I had to use the vitamins. All right. Everything good out here. Everything good. All right. So we need to go ahead and get. Oh. Go ahead and get all that updated. We're going to go out, fix the stuff outside. There we go. Make sure we have all this done. All right. So let's go grab more metal so we can fix the spikes, the barbed wire. We need to grab these. We're going to grab that. And I think that is all we need right now, except let's grab some cobble. Because I'm going to need the cobble in order to fix some of the things on the building. Got the texture model rails. Nice. Now the one I'm I'm interested in seeing for for like mod packs and such is uh, Skippy is actually working on a mod pack that adds an MMO style character progression to Seven Days to Die. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. I'm guessing it's something slightly similar to the way that Val mod works, in that you know basically there are character classes, and depending on which skill you unlock. Acts as the prerequisite for the other skills. Um, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how he works that out. So. so let's go ahead and drop. There we are. I 
didn't bring scrap metal with me. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna... Let's see, we had you there. So we're gonna say... Let's put... Let's do that. What we're going to do is we're basically going to set it up so that um, each of the posts are a little bit better protected. Right. So we're going to take this out here. All right. You need rails. Um, I don't think I announced anything on Patreon, so... I mean, I might have. There's very little I, I announce on Patreon that I don't put... ...elsewhere as well, because I don't want... I don't want a situation where, you know, people have to... ...subscribe for basic information. I've never been a fan of that approach. You know, not faulting anyone who might do that, I'm just saying. The only thing I do on Patreon is I, uh, I'll give sneak peeks on some of the things that, are wor that I'm working on, but... You know, the actual information about what I'm doing? No, it's that I don't. That's not good. Here comes the horde. Ah, oh, crap, and I turned off the fence. <laughs> All right, come here. You got back up. Not twice you don't. Ugh. Oh, treasure map. We might have to go do a treasure run. You know, I don't think I still don't think I've gotten the bloody uh, mini bike book. Come to think of it. Let me see. Yeah, see, I still don't have the mini bike book. Oh, that's frustrating. So we're going to go ahead and finish this portion up. <laughs> the big spoiler? Yeah, apparently. Spoiled it for me, too. I don't even know what you're talking about. There we go. And so that'll help protect it a little bit better. Uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put ramps over this. It'll basically put small holes in the defense, but at the same time it keeps the, the bulk of the defenses in place. So, Alright, let's grab you really quick. Let's go ahead and work on our knife skills a little bit. So yeah, we're going to end up with a bunch more zombies because I've got all of the furnaces and everything running. So speaking of, look at that. Ah, crap. See that? I just said we were going to end up with more zombies. Uh, about there. Oh, a little too high. Settle down, Francine. All right. I 
And random horde time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Come here, buddy. Not you. Come here. And right about there. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Get them all. Get them all. Hi, guys. How y'all doing? And bringing everybody together. Come on. Ah, this is a random horde. This wasn't even a heat map horde. Oh. Oh. That was nice to get free ammo. So, let's see here. Anything good? Ah, blueberry seed. Means I don't have to go find a snow biome now. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't need you. I don't really need you either. Okay. There we go. And... Anything else over here? All right. Uh, actually, Sharky, the the broken ankle guys have started calling her Bob's mom. <laughs> Dirt fragments, stuff I don't need. Okay. Eh? Oh, look at you. Yeah, now the one thing I don't like about the Maltobs is you basically don't get credit for the kills. Because, you know, they're just like the explosives and stuff. Uh... But that's okay. We don't mind. Go and start cleaning this stuff up. Oh, really? Somebody needs to go beat Mad Mole about the head and shoulders resoundingly. Alright. And no, I'm not actually saying somebody needs to go do that in real life. <laughs> Before anyone even starts with that. Alright. Uh, no, not worried about it. Nothing, nothing that I can't make from what I've got in the furnace already. Right. Ooh. Let's see. Don't need you. <laughs> Want it for no reason, huh? Right on. All right. Is that everybody? Nope. Just a couple more. Yeah, I just, I don't like the eviscerate it remains when you have something on a corpse. It's nice because, you know, basically it gives you a chance to not lose the loot. But at the same time, it's bad because you can't get rid of the corpses until you get the loot out of their inventory. And it's just, that's annoying. All right, so we need to go pick up one, two, two fence posts. And a bunch of uh, scrap metal. Okay, we can do this. Then clean that up. Right. I actually think I have a couple of fence posts already made. I think I made a bunch of them when I was building. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up a second line of defense on this thing. The high base builds? Yeah, I know. Well, originally the gore blocks were supposed to be a way to generate heat without generating heat. So if you were in an area killing a lot of zombies, the gore blocks actually add, or used to add, to the, uh, the heat map. 
And thankfully, Mad Mole took that out because it was really bloody annoying. Because you had to, every time you killed something, you had to stay there long enough to clean up the corpse pile. So. Alright. Uh, grab this. Um. Anything else? Your food, you're all food items. You're not food items. You all go in here. Apparently I picked up a bunch of... Oh, oh. There we go. General crafting stuff. You are general crafting stuff. You would be clothing. Actually, you are going in there. Oh, you know what? No, we're going to read that. That's a Jennifer's map. We want the Jennifer's maps. Jennifer maps are really good because Jennifer maps are the ones that have the uh, tokens and cash, and then you'll get things like silver nuggets and stuff from them. Alright, so... Do we have... Alright. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest of this stuff away and we're gonna go do a little bit of a treasure hunt hey look at that fence posts which means we're also gonna need that let's drop this stuff off you go in the food box and why does it go in the food box because I like having stuff to gnaw on all right so I'll drop you there And this will have the added bonus of pulling the zombies away from us. So while things are burning over here, we won't have to worry quite so much about the zombie showing up. Where is... Oh my word. That is nuts. All right. Now, am I bringing drinks with me? I am bringing drinks with me. Okay. Because we're going to need them. That is a... Crazy distance. I thought there was supposed to be a max distance on how far away those things spawn from you. Oh, there we go. I saw that hiding over here. All right. Uh, love the loot respawn. Hey, no problem, Red. Have a great night, man. Thanks for stopping in today. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Right. So let us go find us a treasure. <laughs> What'd be really nice is to find a mini bike pattern. You know what? I might need to build a bridge. I might build a bridge over this. Uh, there's a road over there, I guess. It's not entirely too neat. It. All right. There we go. But it would make going on treasure hunts a little bit easier. Was that? Did I see a nest over? Oh, there it is. Thought so. I'm sitting there going, I oh, thought it was all nest. Oh. There's a nest. Just because. <laughs> yeah, I know I didn't need to kill him. But it's fun! Yeah, I know, Mafki has the worst time with uh, his maps. He gets all the flat maps with no with no water. I get all of the, like, what the hell terrain maps with nothing but water. And both of us end up with usually with some ridiculous number of deserts.
We can usually tell what kind of map it's going to be by the uh, the terrain we spawn on. Because he and I get like the worst terrain on the RNG every time. So he can cry. <laughs> nice. Cry him a river so he has something to build over, huh? And this might actually work out in our favor because I need to go do some hunting anyway. So uh, this might actually be a good thing. Is that a deer down there? I thought I saw a deer somewhere. Hmm. Nope, but I see a wolf. I keep forgetting wolves are a thing now. Oh, come on. Ah. Really? Oh, look at that. He ran into it. Okay, my aim is just horrible with this bow. There we go. See, I can't hit a sitting target. Are you talking about the hunting game? Um, I don't know, maybe. Is that thing dead? Because he's just eating arrows. I think you're dead, aren't you? Oh. It was dead the entire time. No wonder he was sitting still. All right. Leave it to hell to miss a uh, something that's already dead. Okay. Yeah, because I wasn't expecting it to take you know six or seven shots from the compound bow to to kill it. <laughs> it's just like they do need to fix that. They need to make sure things update their states that so when it's uh the NPCs die, they should let you know that they're dead. Maybe have it like shoot up a flag or something. Alright. Alright here, let's see. You know what? I may as well be gathering lumber and stuff too. I do have to say the dr the distant draw on this thing is absolutely awesome now. Being able to see you off into the distance. Oh, look at that. There's another city over there. All right, so we got a city. Looks like it's going to be about there. Maybe a little further out. Little chunky there. Just on principle. Right. Mm, look at all the resources. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to come back over here and do a little mining. Holy crap, look at this. Uh, 
Just him, I'm not worried about it. The Frostilicus, I don't worry about. They don't tend to really be worth it that often, so. Maybe a Flag Knight, not a Horde Knight. <laughs> How awesome would that be? We need to do a mod where the zombies are color guard. So they're all out with like carrying flags and such. I want all the eggs I can find. So we should be getting close. We might get lucky. And if it spawns when we get to it, because they don't spawn into the world until you get to them. Uh, but if we get really lucky with it, it'll spawn in the, uh, the steep terrain. And if it does that, if it spawns in the steep terrain, they're really easy to find. There's a rabbit. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a feeling we did not get lucky. Right. Let's take some of this stuff out really quick. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look around. Swearing zombies? That would actually be pretty funny. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to do the... Uh, Hello. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do the echolocation trick. Okay, it's not really echolocation, but you know what I mean. Triangulation, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say we want wood frames. And we want like four or five of them. So you want to find where it kicks out from. Okay, so there. Come on. Are you really not going to let me place it there? There we go. All right, there you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right? And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now I have a spot over here. All right. So you were going to scrap. See, I always hate looking for them on the hillsides because you end up having to dig into so much stuff.
Almost tight enough. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, because what you can do is if you really want to just go yeah see how it stops right here what we do is we pick that up and just go That's that side. So yeah, it's gonna be, it should be like right in this area somewhere. Actually, you know what, do I have that lumber. I don't have stone. That's the one thing I need. Let me grab some stone really quick because we're going to make a stone shovel because I'm about to break this one. So yeah, it should be like right here somewhere. There it is. Look at you. All right. We're gonna scrap that. Let's go ahead and drop these. Cones, don't need you. I don't like leaving frames behind if I don't need to. All right. Okay, so now we have the long trek back. So that town over here that you saw in the distance, that's the other town that I'm going to be doing a, uh, a loot run on. And I will probably be doing that sometime this week. I haven't decided yet. What we're going to do is we're basically going to time lapse the entire thing. So I need to get enough supplies together to build a small outpost over there. Which is what we are doing right now is trying to get all of this stuff together. I'm rather sad that the... Let's see. We can go... Uh, that way. If we go back to a quick waypoint there. Yeah, but I'm so it's rather sad that the, the horde wasn't more interesting. Yeah, we can eat those. Wood for how? <laughs> Oh, for some reason that sounds dirty when you say it, Sharky. Alright. Oh, look at you. Who's scrap you? Don't really need the boots. I know I could have scrapped them, but it's fine. Thinking I might take that road back and see what we get on the way back, because it's heading away from where we want to go. Okay, never mind. We will continue up this way and see where this takes us. Huh. 
So for the folks that have been wandering in, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a fantastic week and a uh, the beginning of a terrific weekend. For those who don't know, we did the Day 14 Horde earlier, a little bit earlier this evening. Unfortunately, you know, we are done with that at this point, but, you know, just out doing a little bit of treasure hunting. Let's see. Do we have, you know, we get rid of you. No, not you. We're going to scrap you. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it, but I'm going to scrap that because I don't really use it. Drop that. Right. See if we're dropping anything here. Sharky usually sounds bad. <laughs> Very true, very true. How you doing tonight? Alright. Wander ourselves. Oh. Okay. Now, was there an airdrop that I don't remember? <laughs> did, did, did we get an airdrop and I didn't see it or something? What the? We have an airdrop directly in front of us. What the? That's good. Glad to hear it. Now, they say an airdrop's over here. Are you on top of the tree? No. Oh, there it is. On the side of the cliff. Now, this is a really bad idea because I have a full inventory. I have a mostly full inventory. I do have a few things that I can get rid of, like the maple seeds. So we're going to take that. We're going to definitely take the beakers. I think I already know that, don't I? We have the AK parts. So I already know this. You can't reread blueprints in Alpha 16. Um, for those who know or don't know, you used to be able to get basically free skill points out of them. Oh, look at you. There's a trader over there. See, we need, so I'm going to end up building a couple of bridges. We're going to build one bridge from this plateau over to here so I can get up to that trader. And then we're going to build another one probably, oh, no, I guess that one would work. Just tie that street in. Ow. I don't want to have a situation. Oh, it's good. Taming a pleasy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to start playing Ark again. I had a couple of people that have been uh, asking me about it. A lot of things have changed in that game. Um, from what I understand, the mods really save it, so we might end up doing a little bit of Ark once we get a little further in this one. I think once we get close to being done with this build. There we go. Oh, look at you. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I don't want to give anything up. Uh, you know what? We get rid of that. Take that. Nope. Get rid of that. Take that. <laughs> oh, we can scrap you. Pick that up. And yeah, I'll get rid of the jar. It's fine. I need to stop looting things as I move. Alright. Oh, that's bad. Hey, buddy. Hey! Headshot. Look at that. Where'd you go? No! No! <laughs> oh, you son of a... Ah, uh, that figures. Are oh, you going to ask about playing Ark? Yeah, I, like I said, I've, I've been thinking about it. I'm kind of curious to see, because like I said, I, I've been told that there are a lot of really good mods that will restore balance to the game that um, the developers have basically gotten rid of. 
You know, it's like if you're gonna have a situation where everything's completely overpowered anyway, it basically makes it a little bit more balanced, which is good. All right. So let's go ahead and get back to camp. Unload our inventory. I hear zomb or I hear wolves. Ah, so they're fighting the zombies. Okay. I am not gonna worry about anything killing zombies right now. Alright. How are we doing? Okay, so we're not too bad. Getting some of our health back. Whoop, hello. Um, basically what I do is I kind of just sit down and play as much as I can. And then what I'll do is, you know, spend like, I don't know, two or three days in one game and then spend a couple of days in another game. So... It helps that a lot of the games are somewhat similar, so you're not basically relearning everything every time. It's not like uh, I'm playing, you know, this and then CSGO and, you know, Arma 3 or something like that. It's like, it's, it's not too bad. Now, if I was playing a bunch of mixed gen uh, genre games, then yeah, it would be bad. Hello. Uh, we will come back for you. Hey, while we're here. Now I looted this in the middle of the night, which is why everything's broken open. Oh, yeah. Hasn't respawned yet. Ah. Uh, right. Hello. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll do it that way then. Sheesh. Yeah, it really comes down to being able to balance your uh, your schedule a little bit. If you let yourself get completely wrapped up in it, then it makes it almost impossible to do more than one or two games. So. Yeah. Free money. All right. So while we're here, and before I forget again, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put you there. Put you there. Let's grab our a wiring tool. Get this all wired up again. Oh, I need one here. Okay. That's why it was there. All right. Hmm. All right. So if we put this here. Ow. Uh, oh, that's a screamer. I really don't want to deal with more zombie hor more zombie hordes right this second. One arm down. 
There we go. I think I got her before the zombies, right? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab... Oh, I put the blocks back. Oh, crap. <laughs> and we scrapped the other one, so that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up putting some more blocks around here. Just like we did before. And we are going to... You go here. You get out of there. And we're going to go... Over here. There you go. Alright, so... We have a working electric fence again. Let's go ahead and get back in here, get this stuff sorted. Now, did I bring... Yeah, I brought a bunch of metal with me, okay. Let me close that. I'm just a little paranoid sometimes that, you know, some of these guys are going to get up here and just start, like, spawning up here or something. Oops. 284 hours in arc. 848 in Skyrim, nice. I'm scared to look at what my times are in some of these games. So, let's see here. Weapons and ammo. Any more other weapons? Oh, nope. Did not want to do that. Um, more parts. Weapons, parts. Okay. I'm going to put you over here. And I think that most of that... I'll put that over here. means we can make another chemistry station. That's actually important. Cash. I would really have liked to have gotten another one of the jewel chests. Um, those things are awesome. That's so... Nope. Alright. Did... Huh? Alright. What did I do with the... The blocks? Did I drop them somewhere? Oh crap, don't tell me I dropped them somewhere. Hey bales. Oh, there they were. As I was say, I didn't want to have to remake another like 100 and some of those things. Um, yeah, Sharky, if you really want to. Come on, open up. Thank uh, you. I try not to focus too much on how much time I've spent in it. It would make me sad, I think. <laughs> All right, down the hole. There you go. Hey, look, another screamer. Oh, mister. You gotta lead her a little bit. Oh, that was too much lead. Oh, come on. What the? Okay, she's standing still. I should not be missing. Look at that. Uh, one more shot. If this doesn't, if I'm not able to get her with this shot. All right.
now. Oh. Looks like she triggered the horde. All right, time to clean up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. Get you in the junk, buddy. Is that it? Was that all of them? Really? Wow. gonna do is I think I'm gonna do half blocks over here and then we will do um, actually, I don't know if I can get away with half blocks if I can get away oh no because I'm gonna have to put a hatch over it hmm we'll figure something out I don't know what but we'll figure something out maybe put ramps up so that when they walk off they they hit this or I could just put fencing down. Yeah, I'll put barbed wire down there. That's fine. Let's go ahead and clean this mess up again. Is that it? I think that's it. All right. So we have our fence back. We have everything positioned so that if they destroy it again, we know where everything needs to go. Hmm. Now can I make... Oh. I can make... Okay, let's make... Um, I don't know. Let's make 24 of them. And show you what we're going to do with these things. So basically what we're doing is that. So what we're going to do is we're going to place these so that they give us a little bit of protection. Can I get away with Oh, I can get away with that. That's so cheesy. All right. And then see this way, when we uh, have a horde come through, we're going to basically double this up. So there will be barbed wire fencing on this side as well. So when they start to break, when they get here, they basically get stuck between the two barbed wires on the electric wire. Oh, well, Shark, you also have to remember I have multiple profiles. That's just this profile. <laughs> All right, how many can I make anyway? Oh, I don't need to make that many. Let's uh, let's dial that back to... Uh, you know what? No. Let's go ahead and make 150 of them. Simply because we can. All right. So it's more important for us to get them slowed down ah, here. This actually helps quite a bit because why do I feel like I'm basically exploiting on this thing? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey now. It's not exploiting, it's creative use of game mechanics. I do want to make sure all of these are protected though. Oh, hello. It's zombies crushing time. Hey, bud. Yeah, unfortunately, I just put all those Maltovs away, too. Hello. He had the jitters. Look at that. Stamina. Oh. Arrows? No. Hey, Bob's mom. You looking uh pretty good tonight, actually. Stamina. There we go. Another one down. Anybody else showing up? <laughs> oh, let's see. Did I leave anybody out here? Oh, there's one. Anybody else over here? I keep looking in that one going, is there are there any feathers to make arrows? It's like a landmine over here, right? It's a field of zombies. Alright. It's just faster. Spend all my time cleaning up the hordes. Okay, I think that's most of them. on the line because then they get stuck I hear zombie 
Where is she? Oh, she found me. Ah, means another horde. <laughs> Does sound a little chunky, doesn't it? Oh, excuse you. I did not say I was interested in a date. Right. You must keep your hands to yourself, woman. And I saw the tryhard over here. Where you at, buddy? I just built those. Okay. So, as I was saying, let's go ahead and get that done. And then putting these here, uh, when they hit it and the electric fence is turned on, they basically won't be able to get out of there. You know, advanced user tactics. All right. There we go. And we're going to continue this process here. Now it is actually more important on this side than it is over on the other side. Uh, mainly because I don't defend that side as much as I defend this side, so. There we go. Like I said, it is a little cheesy, even a little cheaty, but you know. Gonna, gonna kind of need it for the day 21 horde. Whack those dead bodies. <laughs> I saw her comment. I replied. Sheesh. All right. So let's go ahead and get these down. There you go. Okay. Now, that should make it uh, a little bit more interesting for the zombies coming in. You know, I have to keep it interesting for the zombies too, right? If they can just walk in and eat you, it's like, yeah, that's a challenge. About the pie? Yeah. Nah, I just chose to ignore it, Sharky. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking... I don't know if I want to update all of this. I'm thinking I might. Because they uh, they got through pretty well on... Do I have any barbed wire left? No. But I do have... And this is one of the benefits of this type of design. Is that you can basically fix everything right here without having to go outside. Now, I don't normally do these types of repairs on camera just because they're kind of boring to watch, but people have been asking to see more of this stuff, so. So this is why I wanted to have all that metal on me so I can get all of this stuff fixed up. Which includes the uh, the barbed wire on the floor there.
Well, see, the thing is, is I don't ignore the comments. I just ignore you, Sharky. <laughs> So that looks like that is everything as repaired as it needs to be for right now. Everything else is stuff I can do off camera, so. Oh, now do I want to? I think I do. Go ahead and do that. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna put some storage chests in here um, so I don't have to go all the way downstairs to to grab the things I want or need. And then basically that'll let me keep supplies up on the top. So, all right, so how are we doing here? We got a bunch of that. And, okay. So let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff off. Scrap you. Wow, we ended up using almost all of that metal. All right. So go ahead and drop this stuff off here. I'll just drop that for there. I'm not too entirely plussed about it right now. Oh. We're crafting stuff up here. just to get that stuff out of my inventory. More clothing. And our toolbox, we'll put our tools back here. Yeah. All right, so I think that's everything, right? Gonna go eat pie and go home, huh? I see how it is. <laughs> All right, have a great night. It's good seeing you again. Uh, hope you have a fantastic weekend. And on that note, I think we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. The rest of it is basically just getting the supplies cooking through the night, and it's going to be more what we've been doing, running around back and forth. So I want to thank everybody for stopping in. Hopefully you all had fun. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you and just uh, shooting the crap and killing zombies. So, you know, it's good stuff all around. Let's go ahead and use one of those because we can. <laughs> anyway, so I want to thank you all again for stopping in. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. You can find me all over the place. Uh, thank you, Sharky, for posting the links. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to reach out. If you are not already doing, I do ask that you follow if you have not followed already. If you are really, really wanting to, to throw in, you know, we do have the subscribe feature now. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I'm teasing. No one has to do anything around this place. Uh, but before we take off, let us, we got a couple people here, so let's, uh, Let's see what we got going on. See who is doing stuff this evening. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Okay, how about we, uh, how about we, yeah, how about we pay a little visit to the, uh, the folks over at Bitter Guys Gaming? They're a larger channel, but they're really good guys. Um, for those who don't know who these guys are, it's, uh, Joe and Matt, really good guys, absolutely hilarious. They're actually sponsored now by Fun Pimps, so they actually get access to some of the builds before most people do. So they're a great, uh, great, great group of guys to hang out with, great community. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit these guys up. Let me uh, get you a link for them. All right. And we are going, where is it at? Where is it at? So there is that. And 
and we are going to where to go? Huh. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. So, once again, we're going there. And what I want you to do is I want you to say, if you would please, when you pay these folks a visit, let them know that they have been pounced by the panda. <laughs> so if you would be so kind as to do hashtag panda pounce, just let these guys know that you're coming in. And yeah, I want to thank you all again for stopping in. Hope you all have a fantastic night. And I will see you over there in the, uh, the Bearded Guys Gaming. As always, folks. Take care and be safe out there, everybody.